a school well known for outstanding metric results, maintaining a reputation of a 100% pass rate. But learners say behind these walls, misery, pressure, threats and constant humiliation occurs. A learner who wished to remain anonymous, fearing victimization, relieves this terror. She was recently sent home before writing her exam and threatened that she will not be allowed back unless she pays some fundraising fees. When I got home, I told my mom they needed money at school, and my mom said she had no money. So I asked her to try and get it, even if it's from a loan shark. So she managed to get it. When we were about to write exams, others were told to go home. Some removed from class and told to bring money. Not far from this house is a frustrated mother. Her son had to produce multiple drug test results as a pass to the exam room. All results were negative. We eventually gave them the results to prove that he's not a smoker. He was beaten up a number of times, called names and accused. But we had to escalate the situation to court. That is how we got assistance. This is supposedly a no-fee paying school. The parents at this school want answers. You are being stressed, it's unfair not to say. I was very stressed because I had to bury my other child. I don't have money. I even had to borrow the 400 rand from a loan shark in the area. As a result, I gave her 400 rand from the grant money. It becomes even worse when you are told your child will not write exams because of money, to a point where she is sent home. You are forced to go to loan sharks because you don't want your child to repeat a grade. We also did the same. We went to a loan shark so our child could write the exams. Provincial Education Department could not be reached for comment. Anda Ngonji, SABC News, Abeja.